way to the tech nerd. We're going to the prep room. Lucky to die, I was. I'm using a moment of silence to think of my mom. So why? Why do I want to look at you? I don't want to do it right now, or I will be rendered to summon Come on, let's go. We'll go together. What? Yes, yeah, so I can feel even worse than the voice. You'll catch him in a moment. He's doing something. Yeah. Could I get your help with writing like a short synopsis, a short summary of what he is? That's understandable. <laughs> not throw, well, uh, not throw kids. I don't think I can stop myself. <laughs> is that mustache removable? I don't have any experience with that. That's probably another kind of game. I'm not sure what the phone is in the handbook, so that's a newcomer to understand that. I am the chaos bringer. Uh, Delta Rune Chapter 1 and Delta Rune Chapter 2, yeah, I can keep the link in the oh, Face to face. Huh? Worth a fuck. Boop. Okay, alright, he's, oh. he's done it now. And okay, okay alright, so come here. You see, you know, you know the time you need business I because of this night patch now. I have a horse field that allows me to not... God, I love your body, Ryan. I don't think that's normal. Woo! Why are you riddled with arrows? I'm excited. Let me see who's missing here. Right? I'm very worried right now. All things with envious age together. The slow gnawing consumes all things. <laughs> and very, very slow. You wouldn't hurt a streamer, will you? Time yes. transfix oh, dang it. the flourish set on youth and delves the parallels in beauty's brow. Feeds on the rarities of nature's truth. And nothing stands but for his Sith. Mo. My friends, this? welcome to the event. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. <laughs> you find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Welcome to the Rendezvous, our point of contact to narrative domains. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the pilot. You are welcome to stream or record this event. My friends, 
If any of you are experiencing technical difficulties or lag due to the number of avatars present, please lower your settings at this time. You may disable public avatars temporarily for this tour if that helps. My friends, I will now drop an Invite Plus portal to the world of the pilot. Please, at this time, make sure you are friends with someone else here in case you disconnect and need to be invited back in. You are welcome to add us tour guides, Trajim near me, Rendizo, or myself to assist with this. Now, enough talk. The ether is thick tonight. And the oh, portal shit. will now open. For those of you standing in front of me, kindly step aside. And I will contact the narrative domain. Wait I... for the portal to stabilize ah, before you enter. Ah, yes. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll, we'll try we'll again. Yeah. Narrative domain's Don't having some side. problems today. Burn. That's why we wait. Yeah. 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 Plug it out and plug it back in. I mean, but I left and it took you two, like five minutes to realize, but okay. You tried turning it off and turning it back on again. Don't do it again. Somebody help us. Take a lot of tries. Right. Not now. Orals are being finicky tonight. Why do you All right. poking people with a bamboo stick? Trey Jim, would you kindly drop the portal? I was only listening to the person speaking. Yeah, I can't hear them because I'm on super safety, so it's just silence for me. Just utter silence and awkwardness. Who is stronger out of the two of you? My oh, cousin Captain Panda, no offense to you. Trouble. Some people are probably in the way. Yeah. It is pure silence for me. It is just friends, an empty silence, carefully. like a void. There is no there sound. A number of reasons you see the that could be causing the this. The most common is there a is, VR the, chat There update. is no cube for me. However, there is a chance someone is using a client mm -hmm. that blocks portals dropping. I'll just do not worry. Gray folks. We have a solution. Let me try one more time. If this fails, like uh, like an ocean of of uh, meteorology. Trey Jim will go to the instance and provide a link, and we may join off Trey Jim. I will go there as well afterwards. I will remain here for a moment, so you may add me as a friend, and that way, you can join off of me. Rendizo, are you here? Dearest Rendizo, will you try to drop a portal, please, to the world of the pilot? Can I just show off for you? Uh, sure. I mean, this is part of the story, right? Do you see the host? Yeah. You should have um, a crown icon near him. Unmute him. He's been speaking. I just want to know if you're a mega That's man. Not... My name is my damn name is Beta Man Lugnut. It's a very amazing have to check every single one. So I guess I'm both a man, but not a mega man. Oh, sorry. Dang it. Let's all hop in the first second it drops. I think we should blame I'm gonna stand right in front of him. No. Okay. He's the Tesseract. Who said, who said what I thought? It's a Sheen. Listen carefully. We have posted a link to the world in the Discord. You can either use that link to go to the instance of the pilot, or you may join off Trajan, myself, or Rendizo. We will stay here for about one minute. 
for you all to add us as friends, so, so that that way you might join the instance. Okay, I could try dropping it too, but I'm not sure if it'll work. All right, Jason. Um, I will join the instance, Don't and you join up for me, okay? Yeah, but the world has administrative privileges. All right, Trey Jim is still it's loading it. Give him just a moment. Hmm. hmm. You. Uh. Yo, Elzu, something's coming up. I gotta go. So, uh, see, I'll see you guys later. Are you standing inside somebody now? Hmm? Are you on the Discord? Really? Yeah, let me yeah, I see here. The... <laughs> I looked at it, it was there, and it suddenly poofed. Do you want me to screen share for you? the profile picture. My frame rate's actually not that bad. Do the profile picture of the character. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. As hand. Don't talk well, about mean, the hands. The the just, I'll just we just don't talk how come we hands. can't see the hands? Yeah. Yeah. You don't talk about, about the hands. Up. There's hands in the picture of your character. Where are the, the hands? Join off Trey Jim or use the second link that he posted. My friends, my sincere apologies about this technical difficulty. You understand that things like this happen in BDRC. Yeah. I understand. The hands are good. We understand. Oh, by the way, Sheen, have you? Oh, well, I mean, you probably have my avatar off it. Have you noticed that I have a custom avatar now? Right. I hope you lose your. Uh, I hope you long lose right. your hair. Um, no. Join up with me, Jason Luna. Actually, yeah, I think the quest for it is more polygon. I'm gonna be joining. And if you need an invite, I can invite you. Alright. And then I think minutes. you can invite me. Alright. Latecomers. <laughs> That should work. Kind of wonky though. Yeah, uh, I just sat down this morning. I was like, "Yo, I want to keep working on the world," and then it was tour time. Uh, ah. Huh? So, are we moving again? Uh -huh. I hope not. No, are you using the same right. mic as you normally do? Do I? Am I? Is it wrong? Yeah. Hey, I don't know, it just sounds higher, your voice sounds higher pitched than usual. Higher pitched? <laughs> Usually we just go through Maybe the portal I just for got some hurt. reason, the portal won't open. No, I'm using the normal mic that I use for VR, my wireless mm. microphone. <laughs> get out of your head, get out of your head. It's it's not the same as my desktop, so you're hearing a lot more desktop maybe because of the Ace Attorney stuff. Oh, uh, that could be it. Yeah, being what was it, Sam Manila? That was a fever dream I never want to experience again. <laughs> He's not done talking. Oh dear. I have to look up how Miss Doubtfire speaks to, in order to remember how to <laughs> repeat his voice. Why <laughs> him? I have. I already peaked my Yeti microphone all the time with that voice. I don't want to peak this microphone. <laughs> yeah, it was just a wall of static, basically. Please don't say Jake. Hello. Hello, exploding penguin. Hello, oh, penguin. Request from someone there. Oh, that's what I figured. Yeah. What? I also. I also what did you say? Right? And next. I said, hey, Pack. I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah. Alice's so friends. So that not, and next time there is an event, anybody. send a friend request or an invite request. I mean, and we will get you in. I promise. Hmm. 
Yeah, I already have you as a friend a and Trajan. I think the Trajan voice and the invite. Please, I already <laughs> Me, Marty G. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, you made it. <laughs> Thank you. No <laughs> worries. And yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Into the OT. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do you have to Wait, make it sound so uncomfortable? Oh, it's just the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Today I'll be teaching you how to cook meth. So what you'll need is uh, a large plastic container. <laughs> what are you doing to make that sound? Just like what are you replicating? My tongue around my mouth. What are you replicating? Are you just, I don't know. Mouthing. Mouthing. And you will be set at five percent for now. Captain yeah. Waffles, <laughs> long time no see, good sir. As a deaf person, I will not be able to hear you. I'm getting ASMR to death. We've got most of you back together. I think there was like a third person. <laughs> Uh, attached image. I had no Stromo, but he said he was gonna go eat. You did this to yourself. This isn't the pack yeah. we know. I find it funnier. Okay. Oh, no, man. It's normally 9 9.30 p.m. for you guys, right? That's correct. That's a problem. You see. Fine, Jack, and you probably just see how well I can move my hips. Yeah, yeah, I but if it's that not working, yeah. that's a problem. <laughs> it's working, but what happened is I like just saw an auto thought, okay, the US time, let's calculate to uh, my local time. The Indian standard time. I ended up coming 11 hours later. Hold on. I'm going to add still. some comedic oh, remarks. Oh, yeah. 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 So it was working. One day. One day. I saw one day. Two. That was the first yeah, lazy. Yeah. It takes yeah. effort and unity. No, 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 it happens to the melodies. Yeah, I have minimum. Yeah, on some worlds I'm like see through. Yep. I don't know what that is. So. By the way, we hope we can see you cool, next though, time in the game because really you're going to be in court. <laughs> around two hours, slightly more. <laughs> no, no, no. What? I mean, in like when you start at 9 30. How long do you court, yeah. long long wait after that? Like, for I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, is this, is this, is this, I guess this related to something joining. outside of VR yes. Travelers? Because I'm, I can follow. They were having like the third yes, little conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Ten and eight oh, minutes. So oh, right. right. Through, like Fridays. Oh, okay. In the VR Travelers. Oh. Just hear Zolid stop to being able to hear people. Do I have anything smaller? Oh, yes. Poor Zolid. I feel bad for Zolid. <laughs> Short game. But I can't help him in any way. Do I have anything smaller? Objection! I I do. Let me, uh, get smaller. Hold it! I must, uh, oh, it's I must oh, yeah, you have something smaller. Your, your Take Jody that! Atkins performance. What? Yeah. Hold oh, up. Yeah. Smaller. I, I roleplayed a lot. I'm smaller now. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, they don't I'm, have hands. You win this time, Thrill King. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am not in the room. Even when I lose, I still win. Don't ask how. So, so, you know that's off the game. Don't look very handy. He feeds off the Reddit, the negative Reddit karma. Oh god. Second coffee. We were just getting the tour started. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and you look like the camp person that? that would get negative oh Reddit. Whoa, 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 Elizabeth, Elizabeth, what are you, what are you, what are you guys? It's true. Thank you. What? Fun. What's a Lego? What are you guys? Why are, are you guys, guys a Lego? Lego? You're a Lego. Yo. Yup. Yeah. Oh, are, are, <laughs> are you tight? Are you tight? Are you tight? Oh, no, no, would you mind changing your status from blue to something else? Oh, am I? Yeah. I know how to deal with this yeah. like Thank you. Yeah, so when you're you Which means anybody can join you without you knowing. Also, friends, where do you just start? Please, make your way towards the machine for the tour guide. You can hear him. It comes from the heart, so it has to go through the clothes somehow. So it's gonna dip in. Wait, these are too many. I need to fix that. You're telling me that. Can we have a walk through the game?
like and uh, <laughs> like for building in building out if i use wedges <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it climbs on moving parts i can't even move on parts i found a way to get i guess i'm just going to have to do this thank you then i found a way to do it i found out that many people are having this problem because the steel briefcase counts you know not straight i don't see anything in it yeah neither that is my avatar point yeah like point 000000 something is off and that grinds on moving parts you like i can't believe it Nine. Oh, I think we're starting soon. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Three and a half. Two. One. Point five. Point five. Zero. <laughs> Negative one. My friends, welcome to the world of the pilot. Remember, at this time, you are welcome to go to your safety settings, performance, advanced graphics, then lower the graphic quality and the anti-aliasing. My friends, this is a story-based tour. And as with any tour in the real world, we kindly ask that you remain silent during narration. However, it is absolutely imperative that you do talk as we walk as planning and working together with your friends is the only way to save them my friends make sure your world music is turned on as music is an important part of the tour you should be able to clearly hear the wind now then enough talk the story begins Please click the yellow save point. Ah, this beautiful home once again. I don't know what this game has. Nice home. Without further ado, the story begins. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house. And in this lone house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out her bedroom window and her imagination soars. She wonders about the far away exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes and she can see them. Beautiful cities filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic mountains capped by clouds so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and the crickets fill the air. In her mind, the scene shifts to the front door. She pictures her father finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple and the path outside is empty. She looks around and she knows she was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right. This way. Okay, okay. God, I hope she's oh, suffering. Oh, did they just... What? Door's stuck. 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 Door
I'm in pain. <laughs> okay, then. What's the thing? Oh. The metal of the gem. Press B, press B. Don't question the Luna of it. Getting crispy. It. That's just how it goes. What? I know, it's insane. But don't question Believe me, the young a, there girl actually four people stacked there. trudges through the dark no, house. The, the kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, it's out of the map, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. Oh, again. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind. Wisp of mist brushing by, the gentle rush of cool air in her ears, the deep thrum as she passes through clouds, the land far below her, everything cast in a radiant golden light. Then the sky knocks. No. Not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground as she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. He is finally home. She lets out a cry of joy and a bit of sadness. Her father picks her up and holds her tightly. Is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is comforting like the cloud she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. Her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a sealed bottle of capsules from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon, the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her, and a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go li listen to father's story. Together, this way. I don't know about Recon this fight. Recon. I think Marty left. Think Marty oh yeah, left. he's what? Left. The tags get really big coming through the door. I think he's going to So turn it's them off. Like a lot of people. The young girl jumps into bed, and the father and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit the story, the pilot would be on a new adventure. But each time, a few themes remain the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with their legendary ship and wherever they go they meet new friends who need their help the odds would be stacked against them but thanks to their trusty legendary ship the pilot always saves the day the girl remains awake till the very end and then the father asks as he does at the end of every story So, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. 
because it's the good thing to do. The mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks if, when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to keep, to help people like the pilot. Of course, the father says. You'll be the greatest pilot, and someday, you'll save the day too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the room ajar for their daughter. My friends, let's go back downstairs and let her sleep. This way. The mother and father sit together in the living room. She asks him if he did what he set out to do, and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always says. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights, and is about to go into the tendency for military officers to turn a blind eye to certain amount of certain amounts of excess cargo. When she stops him with a finger on the lips. She reminds him that she knows all of this already. He laughs and gets in one more detail. She will always know when anything is approaching thanks to the radar he stole. Be it military vessel or anything. She nods. She he knows this already as well. They both decide that it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again. She missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. The mother is woken suddenly. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes, confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him not to leave again. Still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests that it's just a scout or an error. No, the father says, and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous, the largest ship she has ever seen, and it is headed directly for the rebel camp off of the radar's edge. That's... she begins but her voice falters. Yes, says the father. The Dark Monument airship. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows there. Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns. It doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. 
I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You are. Until they discharge you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistance ships won't make it in time. I can outrun that... Ab abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms as he takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. Uh, I was the same as them. A refugee on the run, remember? And then you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's... It's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more. And the mother and daughter are left alone. A year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six years old. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. Every night, she waits by the radar, staring at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radio all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, turns off the radar, holds her for a while, and puts her to bed. She promises that she will sleep on time, and closes the door. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. Uh-oh. A loud voice screeches. Attention! Attention! This area is under martial law by Order of the Grey. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through channels, but it's everywhere. She presses her hand against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. Then she looks at the radar, and she sees it. It's... Already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? No. She doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before a banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sound of splintering wood terrifies them both. They run toward the outside balcony. Quickly, my friends, this way. On your feet, soldier. We are leaving. I don't think anyone's... Fire here. 
Well, I don't think anyone here is a fire... Well, actually, Ragnaros seems to be like some sort of oh, firebird, so I guess we could blame them. Uh, but denied. I am hey. purple. Well, okay, there's that. Their fault for being lit, okay? Let me do the smart uh, and just took the flyer uh, down. Uh, hey, Captain Panda, what happened to the panda part of your name? Uh, I'm glad it uh, was. The... Giving... I don't it's, know, making it's got some a chair. It's got a chair. Hey, coffee. That was a really oh, coffee. Dude, you're you glitching out on your mic. Much? I'm doing fine. Can I take a This could probably be the past hero burning My friends, the story continues. His friend. Oh, thank you. Came just in time. Who are they? cries the little girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through her broken rib, but her daughter is safe. And that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The entire forest is in flames. They must have detected her. There. A path through the walls of fire. It's the only way. My friends, over here. Buster could probably handle those soldiers, but there's all of these numbers. Don't forget to charge this up. The energy stuff. The Dark Monument look a lot, uh, a lot closer than we usual. Gonna... Oh, it's at least, uh... More visible. Uh, I think... Yeah, okay, I'm glad you saw We are the pillars of VR Travelers. What the fuck? It's not as animated anymore. Hmm. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. The airship creeps slowly, unstoppably, toward them. She places her daughter on her feet and kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The little girl stammers, with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it, the mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her hand tight, and they run. Her heart is racing. The fire is unbearably hot, and the smoke scrapes her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now pursued by the Dark Monument. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest, and so must all of you, as this is your first Quest, listen carefully, friends. Make your way through the burning forest. If you are having trouble, you may use the fast travel menu to Rainy Camp. Run for not your life's, but for theirs. This way. Oh, go, the go, Dark go, Monument go. looks different. Is it just me, or is the Dark Monument hmm. airship clearer to see now? It's new. It's, being... it's, a, it's got a new model. Ah. Oh wait, these fires actually kill us. Parkour, parkour. I can. Dear God.
didn't do thing. anything. I didn't know. What? I don't. Well, you hear a little girl scream when you get hit by the what fire. What about so my legs? So I figured out a way to know. I've learned. By the way, I've been in here before. I've learned a little girl screaming when someone gets caught by the fire. What about my legs? You said my legs? No, I literally jump over and I haven't been here. What about my legs? Jeez. The I'm confused. It's weird. It's weird. What was what? It's the mother. Yeah. 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 I got. I took zero damage effectively. You have a lot of outfits. I mean, I flew over everything, so. I didn't know how to optimize them, so I had to like, went the route. I didn't, make like, a new character every fucking account. time. So I have nine models in one. That's why I'm up and optimizing shit. Yeah. I should probably, uh, change avatars. I'll just, just block my dynamic bones. Yeah. Call it a day. Well, eh. my observation. What do you, what did you learn from me? Jesus Christ. Literally, as soon as I was man 1000. My head and try fast travel to the, the Raven camp. Yes. Why? How dare you? Lazy. Why what? No, it's I think fun to me. Why don't I know how to like optimize things in Blender? It's so hard to click on know. optimize because materials. It's a really difficult thing to do. I don't. Uh, yeah. I Even if you know Actually, how to do it, it's Atlas still hard because yeah. the yeah. pain it's in the end. It's probably better done with Matt Combiner. Yeah. Um, I hate it. The material combiner Especially weight I paint. hate it too. Yeah. But there's really not much we do about it. Artist it's a personal one too. Ooh, very nice. Why can't I just think about it and it's done? And yes. Yeah. If only, my guy. If only. I can hold the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I don't have a melee weapon on my person, because this yeah. technically counts as one. A steel briefcase yeah. smacking someone in the face works. That, that certainly would hurt. Yeah. And also carry stuff, so it's like a, it's like a two for one deal. How are you liking the tour so far, Jason? <laughs> hey, it's a very Nerd little stuff, huh? Keep it empty for a light touch, or <laughs> fill it with uh, anything heavy for a massive blow. Yeah. SK-12. Oh, you know, just... Carry stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like important projects. That you was an agent like preference. Good carriage campaign. <laughs> Secret projects. Hey, man. So, so yeah. Yeah, Captain hey, Panda, how do you feel if someone on your head? Two minutes. Hey, someone's on my head. No one's on no, my head. head. No, we're, we're still waiting for the last guy. Above you earlier. Uh, uh, all right. So yeah, I see a few more people wandering wander uh, through. Oh, uh, now Captain Waffles is on your back. <laughs> I've had Nita do it. I've had Echo. I've had. Think of two. Oh, you do it. Yeah, two Captain. Captain Panda and Captain Waffles. Yeah, but what's on with that? To thank the uh, I think who's who's in charge of what? Isn't that yeah, Corporal Pancake? Out. What? Who's doing pancakes? I'm Corporal Pancakes is Captain Waffles' enemy. Basically, it's Pancakes. Wait, what is this? What is this madness? I do uh, know this, this is, is madness. Or I think someone dropped is the bomb. This? Give me your mustache. It's probably giving you madness. No. Nope, it's the vanilla extract. It works! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, then give me that! <laughs> uh, no. Hey, you have such a good grip, man! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. You're just a gas. How are you drinking? Okay, this works, right? Yo, is this really the first? Yeah. I just We've shoved it down the already done the first Excellent. episode. Yeah. This is just rerun. Oh, yeah. no. Now we can yeah, this is now live with that mental image. Really My friends, the story continues. Travelers, gather around. Listen carefully. Well done on making it through the burning forest in near record time. My friends, the mother and daughter have made it somehow. Please, walk this way. 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 But are we really walking this way? Or are we running? We, are enter we will be no, entering in the next. We are talking. Hmm. Talking this way, yeah. Alright, who's gonna light the fire? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, of course. Bonfire. Would purple fire be good for cooking marshmallows and s'mores and? Well, Actually, uh, depending on the color of the flame, purple can be quite a powerful flame. Your marshmallows will be cooked even better. The mother right. and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent, an old campfire, and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas, the leaves of the trees, and the water's surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. The rain masks her tears, and she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please, you Use the nightmare save point. I'm not strong enough. Let's go. I will blend in and they'll never find me. Yeah, who put shrooms in my mic? I don't know what I have to do. Shrooms in the mic? The lighting in here is not everyone. Is it just me, or is it just generally brighter in here? It is way Maybe. brighter. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. It is... It is noticeable. Oh, hey, Ragnaros, you're colored like you're in one of those black and white uh, films. I'm going to blend Ooh, in, and they'll fun. never find me. No, we are. One better, huh? I just remembered I left my flashlight outside. My friends, listen carefully. Tonight's NPCs, please come forward and change into your searchlight avatar in front of the group. NPCs, at your will, turn on your searchlights. My friends, can everyone see Luna and Alazu standing next to me? Hmm? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Make no, sure yeah. that you have Luna and Alazu's avatars fully enabled, as they are tonight's NPCs. NPCs, take your place in this terrible nightmare. My friends, a figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick, the floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. The unknown figure looks about barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was searching for something, perhaps. They think. There are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted, drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They must find a way out. And so must all of you. As this is your next quest, travelers, listen carefully. Search for a way through the darkness and avoid the monsters, the NPCs, at all cost. Getting caught in a monster's cone of light will fracture the girl's hope. 
and you will hear thunder crash. If you are caught, keep moving. Through the dark, she dreams for you. And your quest begins now. Hurry! Take it slow, people. Changed. Take it slow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't think it's usual. Oh, I think I see changes. Oh, they countered it. If only a little. To the right, to the right. And coming from Watch the out. right. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, follow me. This way, this way. I was mainly following the path until I didn't I'd get see a flash of light warning me that there was a and that there was a monster. You see this, I didn't know corner, about it because I went through and a shortcut around and the as corner. soon as I turn left, I see Luna walk towards me like ah ah back to the shortcut. <laughs> I didn't yeah, realize yeah. that there were actual uh, walls that yeah. you could go through. Like like, Unfortunately, I only there heard were one, other people one, who uh, were using flashlight cannon. flashlights on their avatar, so I couldn't tell if yeah, oh, some of them were. I saw the camera avatar though. Yeah, I saw, I saw I saw a definite camera avatars a couple of times, but yeah. there were sometimes I just juked because of the fact that I saw a flash of light. Yes, a crash and not of really drums, a flash of I light. My colored coat. Flew out of sight. The colors yeah, faded into darkness. So I was left alone. Uh, since I did it. Do 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 I was about to say. Do 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 Oh yeah, this this God damn, this book is now called by Bug. If he wasn't just a camera with hands, that would have actually freaked me out of him coming around the corner. If he wasn't. Oh, okay, oh, so now we're eating uh, people in the it. excellent. <laughs> Come on. So get you're to blame for fracturing get the, the get in the soup. Get, get, get in the soup. 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 There we go. Excellent. Delicious. You'll have all the fiber. That's unfortunate. Alright, 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 there we go. What are you doing? I kept finding the wrong Luigi. people, dang it. Alright, great. Let's see. I have never tasted paper before. Paper is delicious. It's gross, man. Get out of paper, Luigi. No, I just drank it. It doesn't have anything. I already drank it up. It's too dark in there. I was about to take a selfie I didn't even know you could actually take that off your head. Yeah, well... Okay, it's chili Here, mixed with paper, Luigi. Get back in, get back in. Can just, I? Just put it right uh, down paper chili. I'm just gonna no. take a. <laughs> Is anyone else hungry? I'm gonna take a selfie. Photobomb. Give me a second. <laughs> Don't do that. Come on. Feel. I want some mm. delicious. All right, now, let, me, let me have some paper chili. Oh, uh, he's in the fire. <laughs> 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 oh, that's some strong stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's paper. What do you expect? I got my own drink. It's paper I don't need more cups. The strongest of <laughs> Luigi. Hey, I need to go use the little boy's room. I'll be right back. Well, all right. Have fun. You're a robot. Bye. I'm so confused. I'm not a robot. Look, a just because uh, he's more. just because he's synthetic doesn't mean he can't shit himself. Do you want to drink back? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's a new set. Good spice like... vanilla extract. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. We are in a time right, to experience new Electric. things. Okay, good stuff. Wait, where's that key bit? That doesn't seem very sanitary. I literally summoned this from another It's a magic key. Something. I do believe. You put it in the fire, it, probably... it gets clean. It's very <laughs> sanitized. Alright, yeah. the magic suit. Because yeah. magic yeah. stuff are always <laughs> sanitized, unless it's dark magic. What do you mean? Yeah, Look, it's definitely not dark magic. 
I don't know about to yeah. you, but like Death I would King have thought that's is a good guy. Just because it's magic doesn't mean it's necessarily sterile or ask. whatever. Magic is a very but, but specific magic. thing. Well, if you do from, not actively from the look Disney to world. clean it, it will not be clean. Well, it's from the Disney <laughs> World, so it's automatically clean. Yeah, okay, so all right. Yeah, like Disney World. <laughs> uh, you think that? Welcome back. You want to see? Oh, he's on the thing on the AK, alright. Yeah. Fuck. I leave this. Alright, turn off five. Oh, really? The penguin oh, okay, and panda are right. becoming one. No, I saw it a little. Yes. Oh, dear. Fuck. Becoming it's all right. the panda. This is alright. No, that's. Besides, this is, this right. is a printing. Right. Isn't that different? Fire. I think. That's yeah, right. RGB fast. Yes, you see, there you go. Bit. This is, uh. That's this is the top. So tiny. This is like what? Oh yeah, I never fixed the wrist on this. Uh, My friends, <laughs> your attention, please. <laughs> Travelers, <laughs> gather around. <laughs> the story continues. Fuck. By the way, well done. Although you didn't make it through the burning forest in record time, you did make it through the nightmare in record time. Foo. The girl wakes herself up, screaming in the dark of night, her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, not to worry. The daughter tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is too shaky. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now. Together they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun, shining like a golden orb between parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. Surely, clues to the Ethos Coalition are there. The mother checks the sky. Clear. For now. My friends, this way. His friends. Baba Booey. 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 I'm a scat man. Really I don't see much shade. Why are you flying? I am here now. Ah. This is a flying avatar. I saw you in the sky. Saw you in the shadows and your eyes are blue. My friends, gather around and listen carefully. The story continues. The town of Shade is a small, busy, unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First, she needs to find a place, a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky, then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. At the end of this quest, all of you must return here to the inn, the door that I stand at within five minutes. And you must not be late 
Otherwise, the quest will be failed. To alert you of your time expiring, you will hear the music stop and a bell sound. Make sure your world music is turned on. The quest is as follows. All of you must explore the town of Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your inventory once you do. You have five minutes to search. Good luck. All right, let's do this. So we're just looking for special items? <laughs> Make sure you look behind the counters and get everything. I want to get that. been here before. I wonder if I turn on my fast travel. Oh, what? what? The hell is that? What about uh, in here? Can I grab anything? What the? Uh oh, you're flying. Okay. I can fly, by the way. Well, I have to pee now. And it's like two material slots.
How do you get in there? Ah, let's... Nope. What about over here? You guys got hiding or anything? Anything good? Oh shit, my heart. Hold on. Why does everyone keep telling me it's backwards? I wasn't What's that drunk, was I? I don't know. What's backwards? I have no idea. People keep confusing friend, me. I hope you are listening carefully to the minstrel's performance because they give an experience like no other. Minstrels, thank you for once again enriching this tour. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Travelers. Uh, I didn't get any items One because the internet crashed out on me. Note. The minstrels oh, are part of a band called Hardwood Players that play at our events. We'll get to that later. The story continues. Time has expired. Well done. Hopefully you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother their room is ready. This way, my friends. That way. Bella is still oddly threatened. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I'm sneaky, peeky. Hello. Follow the guy. Hello? I'm trying to take a shower, man. Why? Why y'all being me? Why don't we take a shower together? <laughs> no, here we go right. to an area where I couldn't headbat you. Mm. Jake! You <laughs> <laughs> walked away! Thank you. Are you so Failure. damn tall? Rin, rin. Yeah, you guys Hello! I don't want to be touched by you, so... I would You're totally like, like me you have seven water. foot. Ara ara! That is gross. I don't like how you said I, that, that with that unhygienic. facial expression I was in. You're oh, unhygienic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the story <laughs> continues. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting a small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag, but is unsure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press your menu or jump button. You have five minutes, as a group, to discuss and decide which three items the daughter will carry. Your time begins now. Alright, All right, clearly All she right. needs a holy shield because, like, you know, I'm sure she's gonna be a paladin. Yeah. That's true. Um... Well, the shield is one of the things we should take. So, Just the later, you know. well, let's see. Someone Wait, else go gets the bag of these the items. I feel yeah. like that's the smartest thing. Did it anyone get the time bag? Um, 
Hmm. So Lucian, yeah. do you have any ideas? Not taking that. In, in the Discord, what we the should take today are should... the following three items: Alfina's Rememberizer, the Holy Shield, and the Time Egg. Okay. Whatever no, I've, I've so got Athena's Rememberizer. What about Does that energy? get the upgraded yeah, shield? <laughs> we'll see. Mm -hmm. The what shield about just gives us the defender. First aid in burn uh, The shield. Yeah. I no matter what shield it is, it still, was... it still has the same. Every result. time. The... There I'm was supposed to be an enhanced egg, shield, though, egg, wasn't egg, there? No, no, I don't no, think no, that was. only no. been with the dream egg. There is no enhanced shield. Yeah. I think I've seen the time egg have that same problem. Yeah. Only uh, used it twice in a row. Okay. A... I mean, what was it? The time egg which does not give the does the... attack. It gives the oh, ether veil. All oh, right. What does the oh, ether veil do? Uh, oh, I don't know what the mom does. The ether veil does nothing for us. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I just thought that right. Hey, you know the idea of what mom is kid? Suffer burns. Mom is kid. If we gave her burn cream, the last time we took that help. That was the daughter's path. So we're actually picking items for to have in our inventory. Yeah. I know the mom is ring. So the ring is the mom is ring for the mother. Oh, that's if we actually get both. I don't know what. No one. I don't think anyone's really mapped out that side of the fight. So. Oh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, so it's, uh... I'm not sure. Or something oh, when, uh... Keep yeah, it simple. Because no, we get the oh, yeah. stuff, uh, we don't give you the... I mean, like, if, if, you, were to, you, like, if you were to... If you were to shower me with L'Oreal, you can't be good. It's like a little watermelon, though. Yeah, so, uh... Well, if it doesn't matter, then that means what's the point of trying to get the dog? Well, actually, this is your place for you, right? I used to shower him with L'Oreal kids and he's smoked. I think it's just a bonus for the... Okay, yeah, okay, okay, all right. I like won't say days. too much. I don't want to spoil it. Just rolling around the dirt. For now, I think we can get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah. the first thing you would do is roll. The tour. If we get both of them, yeah, yeah. To we'll use them properly. That's good for two days. Yeah. My friends, I'll well, show well, a bit we'll of mercy be... and tell you that the mermaid <laughs> deer something. is not something you need to worry so much about. No. Weird. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my okay. God. Thank what the see. hell? Wait, I can stand on this? That was bad answer. Bell. What the hell? Okay, so that uh, that's a little bit of first day splint and splint. All right, I think that was a hard roll. I think I first aid should definitely be sling. carrying be the uh, T P I A uh, office. Seems like think first so. aid stuff Helium would be don't count. really well, end up being yeah, useful since know. we die in one hit anyway. See, look, we have pain medicine, well, T I A director's cool, and the prop, the pilotina memorizer. I don't know what that is, but class X. I don't quite remember myself. But I trust the others. No, this is my second time doing this one. One I repeat, one mission of You're supposed to do multiple playthroughs of this with trial and error being the main way you figure out what's the right way to do it. Dragon Master, Ocarina. Specifically, we're going to be able to fight it. Oh, if you look in the Discord, if you can pop the Discord. Right now we're trying to make these three items. The, um, wait, are these a reference to like a previous story? Holy Shield and the Time Egg. Everything is. Well, I never heard this story, so I don't know. You know what I mean? There you go. I think that's it. From the first, from the first one that we ever run. So, yeah, we are. So we are picking things that we know will work. I shall intimidate you with size. Oh, we channel is it on Discord? I have a thing open. Uh, so what does the old thing do? It Mother. becomes yeah. the stagger command, which lets us uh, uh, every time. stop Why a one-hit kill work? from phase two in the fight. <laughs> oh, so that's how you do it. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, okay, then in that case, yeah, I'm on the floor. Yeah, so basically, it does seem like there's a bit of meta. It does seem there's a bit of meta, but I think that's just how these sorts of uh, events are supposed to work. But still. It's good to, it's good time to has expired. Your attention, please, travelers. The quest time has expired. And I will now ask randomly three of you to name three items that the daughter will carry for her mother.
Emerald of Doom. Name one item. The daughter will carry. You are welcome to ask the group, but your time is limited. He's mute. He's gonna DM at me. Mute. I see. Would you like to DM someone? All right. That's a yes. I will wait for your answer. Mana mana do 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 do. Okay, uh, <laughs> yes, so Yeet Stone has is uh doing it on their behalf. So, uh, you said Time Egg, was it? Time Egg, yep, this is Time Egg. Okay, sweet Emerald of Doom. You have chosen the time egg. Is this correct? Time egg. I see. Jason or Jason to my right. Hello there. What is one item the daughter will carry for the mother? You may ask the group if you like. Uh, but your time is limited. Mute. Another mute. <laughs> Another mute. <laughs> two for two. Dearest me, I've rolled a double. You see, you have a double ones or a double seven? Hmm. You snake eyes? I would yes. like to ask. I would like to ask someone I have not asked ever. Let's see. Captain Panda. What will the mother bring? Or the daughter uh, bring? Daughter. Apologies. So we've agreed upon the time egg. Uh, there was the... What was it? The other two was Athena's... There was the time it. egg, the holy shield, and Athena's rem remember either was the things we agreed on. Okay, yes. I'm going to go with Athena's rememberizer. Athena's rememberizer. I hope that you have played the games Lunar 1 or 2. Your choice has been made. The what? The what? Wait, hold on. Me? Lunar's. Yeah. Now then, the uh, final item. Ris Risuna. There in the back. Can you speak? They're mute. Uh, yeah. Another so. mute. Ah, no, no, no. they can speak. No, they can speak. You spoke too soon. <laughs> Rasuna. I mean, I can be a Welcome to, to be the hand of fate. <laughs> Everything is at stake, Rasuna. What is the third item the daughter will carry oh, for her mother? You may ask the group if you like. No pressure. Holy so this is my first time. Yeah, they might rip our last time. Well, last item we decided. Million oh, dollar question. <laughs> You can you can yeah, absolutely oh, say no. no screw you and choose your own thing. And thus I gain mean, the, the enmity of everyone, but cry. not <laughs> the, <laughs> the enmity of everyone. My 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 yeah. my, uh, Turn on my first like impulse was to go with the class X monastic, but like oh, I don't know what it does. What what's the what it's the shield we're missing? Yeah, the holy shield. Holy shield, yes. Hold on, let me, let, me yeah. just, let me just do a coin flip real quick. No. 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 I think he is no. literally flipping no. daring. No. Alright, we're going with the shield. Fate is on our side with a buster hit in the face with a steel briefcase. The holy shield. The hype cube. Oh, choose that. You're being a good sport, thanks. My friends, listen carefully. Well done. The story continues. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding. But she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds, painting everything with soft pink light. 
the daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to her mother, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where Daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep, so we you can walk with me there tomorrow. You need to sleep too. The little girl nudges her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy said, you're a good luck charm. As though you have friends standing around us right now, watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling and around the room, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. <laughs> mm-hmm. The daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart, too? She puts an arm around her daughter, pulls her in, and her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes in her mother's arms. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we sleep. For what is good never lasts. Please, use the nightmare save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. I saw oh, another from panda. inside of a panda, and now my. Oh, yeah, I also saw that. Yeah? I really saw inside your mouth. It's your ass back. Wait, coffee fell too? I don't know anyone. Do you think I am yeah. savage? He did not listen to my advice, yeah, apparently. There's scent on your head. You literally saw the inverse of your mouth. Oh no. We spawned dead. We spawned dead scent of you. Oh, there oh, he is. The inverse of your mouth. Oh, oh god, right, okay, yeah, oh, yeah I can see. Oh, no, he's yeah, right behind be you, no, seriously, look, look, mm. see, see? Yeah, that would be right. I mean, you did technically okay, die, but enough. because of where we are, it... Yeah. it I'll take you on me. We respawn. Is he absent, Lena? I don't see him. Uh, he did go. request to join back. I'll take you with me, RP push. <laughs> I accepted. I gotta fix. I, I got crap in my eye. All right, that explains yeah. that. <laughs> I got your coffee. Now go get it. I need help getting into nightmare too. I'm pushing you. Bye. Hmm? Okay, I think that's enough falling yeah. off. <laughs> I hope that's enough falling off. Poor <laughs> <Network> connection. <gasps> Food zombies. Attention. Tonight's NPCs stand next to me at this time. 
and change into your dream eater avatars. Okay, oh, what no. nightmares are we going to be listening to this time? That sounds pleasant. Oh, no. Oh, Is it going to be something funny? Oh, or something? No. Oh, that's, a, that's actually kind of cool looking. My friends, at this time, make sure you have Alazu and Luna's avatars fully enabled. Oh, well coordinated. These are cool avatars. Coordinated. Dear Dream Eater NPCs, at this time, take your place in the nightmare. Travelers, listen carefully. Once more, the unknown figure becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Yes, they are here for a reason. The figure thinks in silence. What am I searching for? Why can't I remember who I am? Glancing back over their shoulder... They see only swirling shadow, and it evokes a sense of unholy dread. Something is following. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. This time there are no monsters to avoid, but instead a pair of dream eaters blocking the exit. Find and choose the path that gives you you hope. Gather around the Dream Eaters at the end and together as a group, answer their spoken trial. Make haste! Do we have to with the right? Go, Pat, go! Yeah, yeah! Let's wait, you let's wait, need... let's wait! Ah, oh, I thought we were deciding we together. Choose? Okay. Yeah, let's decide together. Uh, right. uh, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna see them as you. Uh... I feel like... No, so, are people gonna follow me or something? Or am I just gonna go on my own path? I just... I did not slip off I on you. the pathway this time, actually. You're right, Rusty. You You're right, because you're a slut. Oh, hey, the Dream Eaters have a pet. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Temporarily. Yes. I don't know. my finger. <laughs> Control. Hmm. Uh, can't get a clean picture. Got him. Well, want me to help fix that finger of yours? This might hurt. There we go. Back in my spot. Right here. Rude. <laughs> Mr. Dream Eaters, would you like some coffee? <laughs> in via. Would you like some yes, coffee? <laughs> yes, I'm We have a riddle for you. Indeed. Oh, wayward soul. Look to me, and you will find your path. Lose me, and you will lose yourself. My crimson hand will not lead you astray. What am I? Compass. Mm. Let's say committed. Compass. What, a compass? compass? Compass. Can you see oh, that? wayward soul. Look to me, and you will find your path. Lose me, and you will lose yourself. My crimson hand will not lead you astray. Where am I? Compass. A compass. Yeah, a that's compass. a compass. compass. There's, there's no yeah, ass in compass. No standard, but it's a compass. That's not Com even a yeah, compass. Yeah, it's a compass. Uh, yeah, I'll just say compass. Yeah, the way I said it just sounded so wrong. <laughs> compass? compass it is, then. <laughs> no. I, 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 I got a steel briefcase. I can, uh, I can go against a compass. compass. It is. Yeah, are you yes. sure? Absolutely. I, I think we're all that I have certain. In my back. Final answer. Down, down, down. Well, you would be correct. You are yeah. I'm correct. Yes. Ooh, yeah. well done. High fives, everyone. Well, who yes. can high five anyway? <laughs> I think that was the easiest riddle yet. That's awesome. Yeah. It was.
<laughs> Thank you for making it simple and not, you know, not going way easy. over. I didn't think I would answer first. Photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> Speed oh, that was the oh, obvious man. one I've ever heard. We have been doing because he is like one of the best. Oh, I like the person. If I don't like them, then they're going to be taller. Burned right off. So you like me, apparently. Well, that's some. You're tolerable. So to your right and look. Wait, is that an ouch? Look at these bet. Oh, <laughs> now the stop. So, I see how it is. Can we pass now? <laughs> well, your hand isn't burning, is it? Sure. Okay. It's also made of metal, so you know. <laughs> mm, there's, I think there's skin under it. I am a carbon, which is a weird mixture of mechanical and organic. I don't, I Artificial don't know. organic, I don't know essentially. Your weird law. I don't know your weird law. Well, may we meet again. Take care. Indeed. Take care. Compass. Oh, okay. oh, I can't this far. So oh. immature. Black. Speaking of immature. Bike! Oh god, it smashed my head into my monitor. Is that my computer? <laughs> what the fuck? I can help with that. Rip. Nice you massage. My computer. I may lag slightly behind you. There we all. go. That should feel better. I don't know how to fix the monitor. You know I finally figured out why my laptop's so laggy. Is, okay. Turns out one of the fans doesn't work. It's still at zero RPMs. My friends, it's like the story C. continues. <laughs> it seems we can hear your keyboard. That the Dream Eater's trial has opened a path, a door down into the depths of 10,000 oceans where the pressure is immense and no living thing could ever survive. And there it waits, unknown to everyone and everything and every concept that ever could be. A jewel, a crack, a piece, a tear of a mermaid. Ooh. Right half. You know what's that in your hair? My friends. The unknown figure <laughs> passes between the strange nightmare manifestations <laughs> and real. enters a new space. There comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into the shadows that feel distant. And a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an abyss, majestic and imposing, as the person perceives more and more of it. Its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night, and there it waits, motionless, expectant. My friends, please. Use the wake save point. <laughs> Woken. We speed run. I want to go back to bed. I don't think that's still supposed to be there. Honestly, oh, I'm not doing. Oh, <laughs> oh, just great. I caught up on uh, sleep finally. <laughs> uh, in a moment. So I was given like four weeks to do uh, two different projects, uh, and I did them in the last 18 hours I had. Yeah. I got a 95% on one of them, and I feel fucking great about it. It's like, if I can apply myself that little and okay, still get a good exactly. grade. Imagine if I wasn't okay, super lazy. <laughs> what about the other one that you didn't get down to? Is that Muffy? Yeah, what happened to the other one? Oh, it's that Muffy's one here. hasn't been graded yet. But uh, yeah. I, I should get to hear the teacher's live reaction to it. No. My no. friends, the story <laughs> continues. By the way, we're making decent time. Oh, let's drag things out for the decent, rest of the time. Please no. Oh. You have an extra hour tonight. Maybe we get extra details. Oh yeah, daylight savings. Is the so girl is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor.
We have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about her nightmare, about how she is n now knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. It hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed, pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you. But we have to go now. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. We pass. If you don't, we'll all die. Oh, that would be awesome. Is it this mirror is the song different? No. Well, I think no, the beginning of the song seemed different. The of it. Yeah, it, star it started so so. Everyone for it, themselves. Basically, I won. the song I won. started. It didn't start from a different position. I think the song's yeah. just been going on somehow in the background. Oh man, I thought we were gonna hide in the bar. Why when you load in? That way. Oh, Rex. That being said. I I think it makes a better effect because it like oh. sort of implies. We are a child. How do we fight this? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's yeah, also an adult with old. this, so it, we have uh, an adult no. that group, yeah, so we don't have to worry about the time. child trying to fight it on its own. Commit a war crime. Uh, don't worry, I'll uh, dance. You guys go on. Flip the arm, flip the what should we do, my lord? I don't think the it's instinct, time. Instinct <laughs> domination will work against a mech. I, see. I can seduce him. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Truly, like, this is why we have him as our strategic. No, never mind. Oh, my so friends, get the, the your document, attention, the please. The story continues. Please seduce me. Actually, I, I'm kind of into like eight-legged things, but that's uh, something else. I'm sorry. Got everything. Okay. With daughter in tow. The mother makes her way to the town exit opposite, opposite the firefight. In the streets, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said HALT! The soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. Keeping eye contact with the mother, the soldier reaches for his comm device preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother has three options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. You have 30 mother's seconds instinct. to decide. Yes. Uh, mother's instinct. instinct. Nothing that's going to defeat What's mother's this? instinct. So, I'm guessing we do mother's <laughs> instinct. Because of, uh, Mama yeah, knows best. Because of the, yes, because of the document. <laughs> okay, I get it mother. now. It was just a bit complicated that. when I first saw it. Mama. Mother's Instinct! Yes, I know the song. I watched, uh, 
getting it Angle. correct, what does that do for us? Do we... It, I don't yeah. The guard gets hurt, Ow. and then what? if we, if we get... If, if, if during the three rounds, we hurt him every time, that song. Uh, the aura attack will well, kill someone him. Right. Sure. Said we'll like someone said mother's Someone said mother's mother knows best. Oh, I mean, you that five five seconds. Seconds. at this point, or... Yeah, last last pilot. We can you just think in that, oh, on that okay. Uh, well, you'll see. Okay, all right, fair enough. But you see, look. <laughs> now, can, can is, you point is... that at the enemy? No, look. This is how. This is how I, how I got. Time has expired. Tech nerd. What will the mother do? Yeah. Oh, mother's instinct. <laughs> She walks toward him with her eyes on an incendiary grenade clipped to his belt. He shouts for her to halt and raises his hand toward her. She grabs and yanks his arm down, pulling his face into her rising knee. He staggers back and drops the comm device to hold his bleeding nose. The mother reaches for the grenade, but she's not fast enough as the soldier catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. Woo. The mother was knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her head. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 uh, seconds. Yeah. So we defend. Defend. Yeah. 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 defend. 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 It's the only option we have. Defend. 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 Possibly work. Defend you know my allies. So process of elimination. So, Windows Defender. So yeah, what, defend. basically process what of elimination. Does that ever work? Go for the grenade at whatever point. Is that it? Well, I'm not defend. sure. Defend. Oh, defend. Dude, right now, no, depending on what do the chicken we know like the realm? Realm? because we like, have I a document. Not be at temp it's temp it's temp we have a document that have recorded uh, every okay, single guy, thing yeah, that we've tried. We know oh, the oh, defense oh, combat okay. for each. Uh, uh, there are slightly different yeah, versions of every round. So depending on what is said, it can pretty much clue us into what we need to do. So since the narrator said, "Also, I think the line is in our head," that means we need to defend. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty game. much sensible. At Why that does point, this yeah. man keeps yeah. staring at me all the time? Turn around. How much time do we have? All right, you know what? I'm just going to listen to you. Negative no two seconds? going on. Negative two seconds? <clears throat> time has expired. Op code. OP code. What will the mother do? Defend. Nice. She reaches for a lid of a nearby crate to shield herself just in time. The bullet passes through the lid, landing deep in her upper leg, but she doesn't notice. While the soldier struggles to adjust his aim, she throws the heavy lid, striking him hard in the face. He, stragger, he staggers, but does not fall. Furious now, he spits out a tooth and moves in close. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. The soldier raises the gun blade to the right, preparing for a sideways strike. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. This is our chance. Attack. 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 Mama's Attack. Attack. Mama knows mess. Attack. Attack. No. No. It is a Attack. 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 I can't see your name, please. We know this. We know that attack is the best option here. Yes, I have to make the shooting sounds because I can't actually pew pew out of this. Oh, we ran out of time already. Pew pew. Huh? Pew, pew. pew. Attack. Attack. Pew. Attack. Pew. 
very well. Five seconds. Oh. Yeah, Can we just five seconds. Yes. Attack that mouth. Yeah, yeah. Attack. Attack that mouth. They are better. This oh, one is attack. Out of the way. It's a unanimous Ooh. decision. How long does this take? I like this little otter. He's cute. Thank you. Muffy VR. What will the mother do? Muffy. Attack. Holy shit. Thanks for that voice. Muffy's, Muffy's here. I didn't see him yet. Nice. She ducks under the strike, then springs up to grab his still turning shoulder. Using his own weight as momentum, she shoulder throws him hard, head first onto the ground. He drops the gun blade on, imp in, on impact, and she quickly pins him down with her weight on his chest. She wails on him with all her might, wishing for each next hit to put him to sleep, but it's not enough. He soon grabs and throws her off. He doesn't let go and twist her arm into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt, but the angry soldier then brings his elbow down hard, breaking her arm at the wrist. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. So you have really dang good arms if you've been holding them up that long. I barely could. Sorry. <laughs> you see, I wanted to make that fucking sound right at the to have to tell me. Rib. I need one of those audio thingamajiggies. Never. That'd be nice. Witnessing all of this, Never. the daughter screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs <laughs> the little girl and growls for the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts, Leave us alone! Just as a red aura erupts around her. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Attack, attack. 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 Yes, attack. we should attack. attack. Okay. Red is anger. Okay, attack. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Attack. Yeah, attack. Yeah, our daughter will yeah. be fine, yeah. so attack. 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 Let's attack kill, attack, motherfucker. Attack, attack. Yay, violence. <laughs> so, for the document, why doesn't defend have a question mark for A thumbnail. Red. Why is it safe? Reason? Kill there? <laughs> I shall make you go kaboom, no, Jim monkey. Above the kill, there's no question mark. Is that like an accident or? Like we didn't try mark? defend on Red Aura a long time ago. The wait, wait, you only kind of explode when you because fit. that was before um, we knew we had to do significant damage on all three rounds. Oh, for okay. once. Has Mother's Instinct so are we been tried? Like, attack? why would you do okay. attack oh, instead of Mother's yeah. Instinct what here? We're we going to try and attack. We don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure it's not working because Red is yeah, 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 going on the offensive. But I would kind of think that since the daughter is involved here, like, because he's provoking the daughter, Mother's Instinct may be more effective. I mean, in most games, in most of the The only thing that changes depending on your option here is what the mother tells the daughter. So if you say attack, the mother says, make no. him go away. Now I have to memorize photographically two different stories. It might be that at least in interpretations of that notion, maybe Sad. not literal attacking, but like yeah. something yeah. that would I'm in the camp of trying attack and see what happens. Make him go away. I think it's, it's yeah, just yeah, to yeah, sounds 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 get her daughter's weird ether whatnot yeah. to work because her daughter really so doesn't know how to so use the daughter's eyes just I want this guy to get off my mouth. Oh shit, he's gone. I mean, oh, you yeah. say it's you've done it, but you've you kind of had a broken arm of any years. Well, yeah, that, 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 that happens every single time. time. Uh, I'll be getting a badge oh, at some point. Uh, okay, fair enough. I've never been Thrill before. King, doing the universe is on your stuff. shoulders. Thrill King, what will okay. the mother do? Attack! Yes. Hey, I'll kill this motherfucker! Violence is the answer. Exactly! She meets her daughter's eyes and shouts. Protect us! The girl squeezes her bunny doll tight. The aura explodes into a torrent of red flames, knocking the soldier back. 
too injured to react. He can only look on in fear. The daughter turns and locks eyes with him. She takes a step toward the cowering soldier and screams. The pure ether ignites into violet bolts, rapidly eviscerating his body and ending his life. Oh, jeez. We did Ooh. it. Did we do it? Almost, almost feel bad. That we did it. Right have a life kind of intense. Give me some coffee. Oh. Illusion, did we took any damage? Well, you always take damage. The Our mother approaches her daughter slowly. She is promptly knocked back by a wall of force. Calm down, Angel, she says. Slowly, the aura fades, and the daughter tries to cry, but is stopped by the horror she sees in the sky. The ground shakes. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates, dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the bullet-riddled motorcycle up into an upright position. She calls for her daughter to get on, but the girl stands, unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm, and the adrenaline masks the pain for now. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was the town of Shade. This way. Broken wrist, cracked jaw, Woo. bullet in the... Mine? Not again, please. <laughs> wait, wait, Luna, is this the time? Is it's this the, the part? Time. Mine? Mine? Yours forever. Just a reminder, friends, the Tor Quotes channel is open for public submission. Mine quote everyone. Ours? Mine. Mine. They ride for hours. The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out of the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We are almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. A different ending. A different, a different ending. But what if we don't drive off? Ah, to it. Yeah, there's a different yeah. ending. Maybe I'll put my car in neutral first. Drone. If Legend of Zelda has taught me anything, we need to go up those cables and get to the middle of that sigil and we'll get 50 rupees. My friends, the story continues. The sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead. Various points of light moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest. And she can heal her. Wait. Something isn't right. 
This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information was sha from Shade wasn't correct. And it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is almost unbearable. Getting worse by the minute. Mama. The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. She takes hold of her mother's hand. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there, Mama. Let's go to sleep. Let's forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, and this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing herself. No. She has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands back up. She takes back her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. No. All right, find them. Mine? Ooh, hey. I thought I had to click something. Oh, solid. man. I think we're They bad. are not sadness. Captain I cannot perch upon in. them. Do you think? Dear God, take this slightly elevated lamp on this lamp. That's on the floor. Ascend, my young fluffy boy. See if we each of us get him. They sneak One through the building there. carefully, avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. They stop to talk, and then the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you heard, but Shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. It doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a slightly worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. You mean... That creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yes. Rumor has it there is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners cannot make sense of it. <sighs> That's impossible. I thought you can only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Hmm. Well, whatever it is, I... I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Do you want to see it before it ships out? I know that nobody is watching it now. No way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. The mother concludes that the mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave this region. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the walls since they arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. This way. 
quick little theory. Since he's talking about having to grow uh, ether amplifiers, what if that's what they're growing in that room? In the Um, someone do me a favor. Is there anyone who could live stream one oh. part or the oh, other? Oh, thank God. See if I could see I thought you crashed. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Yeah, you yeah, just froze for like a second. No, uh, Azul. Probably. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I just stand on it and whoosh. My guy just froze forever. There it stands alone. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance. If there's anyone up there, please help me. No, I can do this, the mother thinks to herself. It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her. But the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration that they need, thi they need this to fly to where Daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go, now. No, it's the pilot in the dream, Mama. We need to wait for the pilot. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get in now, please. No, we will be safe if we go to sleep. The daughter says louder, starting to cry. Stop, please, Angel. Calm down. She pleads with her right arm outstretched. I don't want to go in there again, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring, and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms again. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us! The pilot will save us! The pilot will save us! She says over and over, before fainting. The sirens continue to blare, and the soldiers are making their ways down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, and then over to the pitch black space of the mech's open cockpit. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. At this point, the tour group will split into two. Remain here standing next to the magenta mech if you wish to stay awake with mother or stand next to my fellow tour guide tray jim if you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare make your choice hmm. which way should i go this time oh, 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 oh. Um, i haven't tried this oh, part yet oh. so Go oh, here. Jay is sacrificing himself to uh, continue to document the other path, and I'll be recording this path. I see. I'm recording okay, I see. Should I stream it in the distance? I've never seen this path. I've only seen the other path once. 
If we beat this fight, so, I'll be super happy. Explain <laughs> this. Hopefully the mother exactly. side will have just as much. I bought it a long time ago. Yes. Uh, yes lots of hope. I can't choose. <laughs> Why are there too many old people? I'm not drunk enough to choose yet. Arara. Ar ar don't choose the oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. What's in your heart? Yes, no. Why are there so many people at that I will eat your head. You what are head? So I wonder yeah, how getting the ending would have worked if everyone went on one path instead of separating up both. That's a good and question. We should try that sometime. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh, you know. I mean, unless we get the good ending today. My friend, Even please click the still most powerful save man eventually does. Uh, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one to choose. My friends, <laughs> your time to choose has expired. The other group has left. <laughs> I, Trajim, will be your guide through the dark. And Mother will protect us while we descend into the final nightmare. Please. Wait. Oops. <laughs> we jumped to gun and press it too early. Hmm. I wonder if that's the either amplifier. The end of this nightmare. What's that say on it? Pilot. Pilot. Jinx. What's pillow? Does being in pillow? a room count as being under pillow. the roof? <laughs> That's pilot. Uh, for your what? soul. What's it gorgeous in here? Oh, no. He's hacking the dead. I can't believe he just killed him. What are we gonna do? We lost the traveler. Right. How are you going to weigh that on your soul? Just Travelers can be replaced. That's it. You're getting the briefcase. You, you no. <laughs> can you be replaced? No. Alright? No one's gonna be the pack spider, we all know. You did yet? What are you gonna say on that? Enough violence or I'm throwing you both off the edge. Sometimes the unknown Pat game my life, the what? Jolts awake yeah, with a white oh, tech, tech. Tech. Hey, tech. As if they had just fallen from up high. Okay. The undulating void I don't know around who them is giving off voices. Was it tech? Yes, it was tech, tech nerd. The figure yeah, listens tech closely. Is tech slow oh, tech's there. Okay. and mm -hmm. faint just look at your screen for a little bit. Echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of the sounds at all. But it feels somehow meaningful or important. That's her. N no, my... The words come as but silent thoughts to the figure. Confused. Drawn. They pursue the voices. A monumental tree stands tall in the void. There is a warm air of absolute around it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices in the dark. The heartbeat is coming 
from this tree. Without a voice, the figure's thoughts burn in the dark. This is mine. This was made for me. It was always made for me. But where are the wings? Suddenly, the air goes cold. The void quakes and tar bubbles up. It drips down the tree and an image slowly emerges, reflecting off the black substance. A blood moon. Through every dream, every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. I will devour your soul while your friends watch. Travelers, face me and fight for your pilot's soul! Heart. Suddenly, a tremendous sound erupts from nearby, shredding the very air into pieces. From out of the nightmarish abyss, a shadow of tremendous size creeps like a spider. It pulls its heavy carapace, burdened with great spines of colorless crystal. Its face is naught but a jaw. A single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowning the mouth is a heart, shimmering with all the colors held hostage by the monster. The abomination observes the figure standing in the middle of the nightmare, and the dream devourer readies to attack. The figure realizes they have items on them, and they quickly look over what they have. My friends, due to your choices from earlier, the following occurs. The time egg becomes a glistening ruby knife, exuding enough ether to magically attack. The Holy Shield becomes a sturdy silver shield, surely able to glance aside at lethal blows. And Althena's Rememberizer becomes a signing, shining sun shard, its dazzling light blinding to behold. Let's go. The Dream Devourer rears back, its spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. Defend, ether attack, stagger, or nothing. Stagger. Defend. <laughs> defend? What are you talking about? Defend. You defend. shield defend. the spines. Just through spines, I think we should oh, defend with the shield. I haven't done this part in a while. Defend, defend, Sorry. defend, defend. defend. Yeah. Honestly. Defend. defend. We, we already know. The figure brings up the silver shield and crouches behind it. The projectiles slam into it with great force, each one glanced aside by the mighty artifact. The figure takes no damage. The dream devourer rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light. A burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the air, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. Defend, ether attack, stagger, or nothing. Ether attack. 
Ether attack. Ether attack. Yeah, it just That's opened its scary. mouth. Ether I think attack. that might be weakness. Ether, Ether attack. attack. Ether attack. Ether attack. Ether attack. Yeah. It's opened itself Hell up yeah. to weakness. Sounds logical. Indeed. Ether attack. <laughs> Thank God I'm not doing anything. When I take shit. <laughs> the figure draws the ruby dagger and uses it to launch an ether attack. The red jet of energy erupts outwards. But there's too much hellfire. Everything turns bright, and the figure takes damage. That's new. That's different. Well, I remember it was po I remember doing staggers. The before. dream devourer shifts and it's groans like and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell shuts, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. Defend, ether attack, stagger, or nothing. Ether attack. Ether it's impenetrable, guys. He is. just said it's it. not no, impenetrable. No, uh, yeah, ether attack, attack goes through. Ether 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 attack goes through. The figure draws the ruby dagger and leaps in close, using the artifact to launch an ether attack. A red jet of energy erupts outward, phasing through the protective shell of the dream devourer. Oh yeah! It takes damage. Right. All right. Um, maybe discombobulate. The Dream Devourer rears back, its spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. Defend, ether attack, stagger, or nothing. Defend. 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 <coughs> Defend. Defend. The, creature the figure move. brings up the silver shield and crouches behind it. The projectiles slam into it with great force, each one glanced aside by the mighty artifact. The figure takes no damage. The Dream Devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell shuts, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. Defend, ether attack, stagger, or nothing. Ether attack. Ether attack. Ether attack. Same thing. Ether attack. The figure draws the ruby dagger and leaps in close, using the artifact to launch an ether attack. A red jet of energy erupts outward, phasing through the protective shell of the dream devourer. It takes damage. The Dream Devourer rumbles and opens its mouth. And inside is a light, a burning light, which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the sky ready to blank the area before it in destruction. Defend, ether attack, stagger, or nothing. Stagger. stagger. Are you stagger. sure? Stagger. I'm, sh I'm pretty I mean, confident. nothing else works. Stagger. We know defend doesn't work, and we now know ether is... attack doesn't work. Okay. That's our only stagger, option. Stagger. I'm curious why we would do Woo! nothing for any of them. Yeah, I believe it's Dagger. The void is <laughs> Trust me on this. Maybe we're we giving up. We're yeah. Stagger. We're not giving up. So. Trust this man. The figure takes out the sun shard and holds it straight out, directing its radiant light toward the Dream Devourer. The monster appears unaffected. The hellfire comes down upon the figure, taking damage. Okay, so you can't do anything unless you have attack. So I can't stagger it either while I'm doing that. No, no. Right. 
Yeah, there's only one particular well, attack we can stagger it in. That I guess that it. makes ether attack well, not objectively better. Interesting. Well, we need to get out of the space. I knew it. <laughs> I want to eat an apple for the health. Dream so, uh, like the dream devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Okay. Its protective shell shuts, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. Defend, ether attack, stagger or nothing. Ether attack. Ether attack. Ether attack. The figure draws the Ruby Dagger and leaps in close, using the artifact to launch an ether attack. A red jet of energy erupts outward, phasing through the protective shell of the Dream Devourer. The Dream Devourer, our enemy, sustains damage. And phase two commences. The dream devourer rears back and begins to rumble. It shudders, and energy visibly emanates from its massive form, distorting the air around it. It's aiming at the figure. Defend, ether attack, or stagger. 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 I feel like stagger would be good. Stagger. 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 I believe this is where stagger works. Yes, it should. Stagger. Theoretically. The figure Remember, takes out the sun shard and holds it forth, directing its radiant light toward the Dream Devourer. It pierces through the energy aura, and the monster loses its focus, ending its charge attack. The Dream Devourer rears back, spines bristling angrily, its carapace and spines crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, Needles are launched outward like shrapnel. Defend, ether attack, or stagger. Defend. 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 The figure brings up the silver shield to defend and crouches behind it. The projectiles slam into it with great force, each one glanced aside by the mighty artifact. The figure... Sustains no damage. All right. <laughs> I think seems good. The dream devourer so far. shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell shuts, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. Defend, ether attack, or stagger. Ether, ether attack. attack. Ether attack. Ether attack. The figure runs in close and draws the ruby dagger and using the artifact they launch an ether attack. A red jet of energy is exposed spelled forth, phasing through the protective shell of the Dream Devourer, causing damage to its mighty form. Travelers. Phase three begins. Uh, oh, no. This oh, no. figure can take but a fraction more damage before you lose. Ooh. 
the dream devourer pauses. It stops moving. Its energy is endless. Its willpower is infinite. It stares directly at the figure. And from nowhere and everywhere, a voice fills everything so powerful that the very air around them is torn. Who are you? Attack. Defend. Ether attack. Stagger. Or bunny doll. 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 Bun
carefully, standing over it for a closer look. The shadows fizzle away, revealing the tired eyes of an emerald haired girl. <laughs> she speaks what? in a quiet, sorrowful tone. Finally, I am free of the fear. Finally free of the prison. Free of that monster? Who are you? The figure wants to ask the girl, but can only think with no will to form speech. It's okay. I can feel your thoughts, and I will do my best to help you, as Mother wanted. You lack a voice, as you have not yet claimed your soul. Without a soul? The figure thinks, confused. Yes, until the travelers intervened, like Abel, they can move between time and place. They seek to make you whole. Travelers helping me? Wait, you know who I am? Abel said, You are an unborn ghost, an incarnation of ether, cling to memories of a dead father. A girl's aspirations and an old children's story. Abel prevented all of these ethereal emotions from uniting with the will that Mother made just for you. The figure looks down at their own hands, noticing they lack definition, as if on the very cusp of perception. Who is Abel? <laughs> the emerald-haired girl looks away with a pained expression and is silent for a moment. Abel is... She looks slowly once and it turns back toward the figure. Abel was a kind-hearted person. He was good to mother, but due to events outside his control, we were never able to meet. I am his daughter. Mother hid me from the church. The figure looks around at the surrounding void. I'm still not sure I understand. Why would Abel do this to you? Why didn't you hear? What is this place? This place is what the travelers would call a narrative within a narrative. An unstable time that exists only as long as the domain above is being watched. Abel's timeline is no longer observed, yet he somehow remains. It is only in that lost world that Mother has a daughter who belongs to him, and so he ripped my will from its ether, allowing me to remain free of any need for observers. Abel said, without a whole soul, I would never be able to join Mother in the collective unconscious above. He believes the gods above have no interest in our story and would not welcome us any longer. Abel has tortured himself by living through countless lifetimes, searching for a way to bring his own timeline back. He is no longer my father, and has become something else. He threatened that I would sink below into nothingness if I didn't feed off ether. This fear corrupted me into a monster of void crystal. 
and I obeyed his command to attack you. I am so sorry. What will happen to you now? Abel was right in that I cannot ascend. However, meeting you here has given me hope. I now know that I will not fade as long as I pray for hope within. It was you that taught me that. I never thought I would see you again. Wait, I still don't understand where I'm from, who I am. The emerald-haired girl points to a wicked name tag on her clothes. Printed are a set of initials. E. K. The girl smells. Like mother. Like daughter, huh? The figure stares at the initials, trying hard to think of the name. It's time. It's time for you to fly, she says, while turning her face toward the tree. The figure follows her eyes. The tree reaches up. Up, up, seemingly through the void. The longer they stare, the more it appears as a whole rather than an object. The figure turns back, but the emerald haired girl is gone. My friends, this way. Oh my god. Yeah, That's high so five, people. We finally Fuck took yeah. out the thing. Oh, yeah. shit. But it's not nice. over. That's a heckin' pod Man. champ. People just... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry Johnny I doubted you all on that go. last choice. Oh boy. boy. Tell me something good oh, happened on this end. We cracked it. Oh, we oh my goodness. We I can't hear you. This is so amazing. You made me want to cry. We, 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 we were reading. We beat the dream. Oh my god. The, the emerald haired girl from the Sorry. Dream Mermaid. Yeah. It's the development of the Dream I recorded it. Yes, by the way. First try. Yeah, totally first try. <laughs> and we also probably know what we need to do for the Megabyte as well. I'm not sure about Faye. Are you able to hear me? We don't know about round five. But every other round, we know the code. I'm assuming you heard me. What about the code? Do we have wow. any idea? Uh, we know the code. Know. EK, that's the code. EK, yeah, the EK. It wasn't good, yeah. Isn't that the EK? flying thing? Yes, so we, EK. Do we know what that character's name is? Where are we in typing the code? Uh, in, the in the Mac. Yeah. Oh. In fact, we're not <laughs> oh. typing it, we're saying it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like in the in the magenta map. Wait, how did you get that code? Yeah, uh, it was a it was a jacket. The dream devour. Some some lady's name tag. It's like a little name tag. Well, let's just hope we can beat the dream devour in the next uh in the next time we're here. We can. This shouldn't work, but it does. I can still hear you typing, man. Yes. I'm gonna need an so update. Close. I love hearing him type. I wasn't really here for the whole <laughs> able lore and stuff, so I have no idea what that stuff. My is. friends, ah. your attention, oh, please. The story continues. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belt. She calls for her mother and struggles to unbuckle herself, but freezes when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky.
Far above where the wrecked magenta mech lies, the black clouds part, and the dark monument airship shows itself. Its monstrous form grows like a void swallowing the world. Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red. The daughter, unable to free herself, wishes none of this ever happened. She wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. She wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monsters could ever find. My friends, the magenta mech vanishes in the flames. Please use the cold save point. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's clear. We have to win both in order to get the good ending. I thought we would have gotten a different ending. Well, yeah. Maybe we can get in the neutral ending. ending. We would have found a new ending. Neutral <laughs> ending. Mm, Here we come. Where is it? Where is there it is. There it is. Uh, and of course, it's neutral. just no different. Despite we've gotten, the fact of our victory, we've gotten some well, oil. Please tell me to be. Yeah, pretty much. Damn. Yeah, pretty Progress was a measure. We know what we have to keep with us. A lot really of it. We know what we have to do. Wait, hold up. Yes. Yep. Was this next always here? Why isn't that next saw it anymore? You saw it. Someone help me lift up the leg. Yeah, I know the arm, but I don't remember the leg being on. Mm, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. He's... Oh! <sighs> Wait, no one helped. Oh, that's like bar. five tons. Uh, You're five tons. Did you guys win? Did you guys die? No. Yeah. No, we died in the final round. Shiba Kesegi. Yeah. <laughs> I and figured I out how to defeat it. the dream monster, Unfortunately. though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Just not the mech. We won. It was Teddy Bear all along. Oh, oh no. <laughs> My friends, the story concludes. Another worldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The daughter opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seatbelt and crawls over to the pilot seat. Mama, she speaks meekly. Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls into her mother's lap and holds her tight. But there's no response. Mama? Mama? Mama, wake up. M Mama? She weeps for an answer. But no one would hear her cries. Not here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Woo! Oh. No, dang it! You guys dare clap? That would be the nightmare. Well, I mean, you have a time to get a timely point and a half, but... This is a sad moment, people.
forever new toy. Well, we still but it's a good story. Oh, Bang my controllers oh, together. All the pieces are coming. Do you know how many VR headsets I've already broken? One too many. I keep leaving them on the floor. Your attention, I need to stop doing that. Dearest travelers, I beg your attention one final time. And then you will be free from this narrative. I promise. Listen carefully. Boop. And a boop back to you. My friends, <laughs> thank you for staying to the end of this tour. If I may be so... Ah... Uh, my vocabulary fails me at this point. Oh? If I, if I may, ask all of you to put your hands together for tonight's NPCs, Alazu and Luna, and my fellow tour guides, Trajan and Benito, as well as the world builder, Demon Nick. Very well done. Good job, good show. My friends, thank you very much. In conclusion, I would like to thank you and remind you that we are VR Travelers. We do this for free. We do this for fun. We do this for you. However, we do ask one thing in return. We ask that you join our Discord community. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Alternatively, you can go to Discord slash VRT to find us. Our new ID is functional. My friends, if you truly enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please support us on Patreon. We do this every Saturday night and we will continue to do this for you. And for only $3, we will have more beautiful places for you to spend your time in with your friends. It is less than what you would spend on a game for an entire year. If you join our Patreon, you will have access to play NPCs in our tours, like the Dream Eaters from today. You will also have access to our private Discord channel and voting power in our events, as well as many other things. Well then, my friends, if you need help joining the Discord, let me know. In about five minutes, I will open the portal to the after party. Picture. But for now, the floor is yours. Group picture! Oh. Destination, where shall it be this time? Um... I like this dead <laughs> robot. Maybe not burning for have the nightmare. We've done the dead robot multiple times already. We have the final yeah, nightmare since we beat yeah. the boss yeah. for the first time today. Okay, so Zero King suggests that we go to the final nightmare for the group picture. Yeah, we just beat the final boss there. Yeah, 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 I think I agree with that.